Hello everybody and welcome to the Nine Pound Hammer. Uh, this is kitchen ep ep episode. Um, I live in a cul-de-sac and the new house that I built and we are having a block party uh, for the 4th of July. And I started making stuff. I'm smoking a couple of pork loins. Um, can't even think. Um, apple pecan stuffed pork loins and I'm making my uh, uh, barbecue baked beans that I used to serve in my restaurants and I am also making uh, my dad's famous dip um, so uh, just kind of give you a little idea of what is going on here um, I'll move brown sugar out the way so what I have done is I have oops uh, I have peeled some apples Granny Smith's I have filleted and rolled out a pork loin. So, let me move my apples here. I am so unorganized, I just started, decided to do this at the last second. I'm like, oh, this would be pretty good YouTube material. So, I have whole pork loins like this. Well, these are halves. Um, and then I have my trusty fillet knife. And I slice it and basically roll it out. Uh, towards like one giant uh, slab of, of pork meat. Uh, I've covered it now uh, with a little bit of brown sugar um, and then I'm gonna do a little cinnamon and then put the apples in and then I'm gonna roll it back up, uh, spike it with some uh, kebab spikes and uh, we'll put it in the smoker uh, for about three and a half hours. Uh, I'm gonna do two of these and then I'm gonna, I got another whole pork loin uh, that I'm gonna slice up into um, pork chops. So hopefully uh, the 4th of July goes pretty well, and I uh, hope you all have a great 4th, and happy Independence Day, and God bless America. Uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, so I've decided to try and put my camera here uh, in a position to where, let me put, this, let me put it on, on here so those lights aren't, well, still going to get the lights in the, in the way, so I can kind of talk to you while I'm doing this. So I'm going to finish putting a little bit more brown sugar, where did I put it? Onto on the pork loin to get the whole get it all covered completely, and then I'll lightly sprinkle it with cinnamon because a little bit of cinnamon goes a very very long way. And I have to pull out some crushed pecans. So anybody can do this. Oh crap! I have walnuts. Oh no! Do I have pecans? Do I have pecans? Well, folks, this, uh, you know what, I don't have pecans, so we'll just, uh, not do pecans. A little bit of cinnamon, not much at all. And then the trick with this is, is getting the pork loin to roll and to stay properly. Um, probably don't have the apples sliced thin enough looking at this but we'll see you know what I need to probably put them this way Dawson get out of dad's office you know that's a no-no alright so we will roll it like so uh -oh. I know you guys can't see this, so you have no idea what the hell I'm doing. And uh, I will try, I'm going to do the other one the same way. So I'll try and get that video the, the entire process for you. If you care. If not, you probably changed the channel already. So that's okay too. Not everybody has to like what I do. All right, voila. Now I gotta stake it and I gotta wash my hands because I realize my shish kebab skewers are in my, in my silverware drawer. And you always wanna wash your hands every time you touch something new anyway to prevent cross-contamination. Uh, barbecue skewers. 
Uh oh. Looks like I only have enough for one. Yeah. Oh well, I got bamboo ones in the in my other uh, other drawer. And um, unfortunately, with everything that's been going on with the COVID and trying to keep my business afloat, I have not had time to clean out and prepare that giant smoker that we got out of that uh, $1,300 storage unit that we got uh, when the storage auction started back up again. The same unit that we got all those knives in, I got a great big smoker out of it. If, you, if you're new to the channel and don't know that already. I'm going to go through a whole roll of paper towels today. That's okay. So I'm going to put this one on a platter and uh, get ready to do the next one. And so that way I can show you guys how I'm doing this. And maybe I can get Matt to come down and hold the camera for me while I do this. That might work. Oh my god. I'm washing my hands a hundred times. So with that, I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I did that first one uh, before I decided, oh, this would be great for YouTube. So I have my apples already peeled. We'll just slice them up here with my little apple core slicer. Cut them and pull them out like that. That goes to garbage disposal. We got one more we'll do. These little apple core slicers are fabulous little tools. And you can get them at, at your local Pampered Chef salesperson. <laughs> so, and then they're generally not, they're a little thicker than I want, so I'll just slice them a little thinner. Slice those, those eighths into sixteenths. Oh, that one's real thick. We'll do that one twice. So then what we're going to do is I'll show you how I fillet open the whole roll of pork loin. And uh, we'll sprinkle it with the brown sugar. As I said, I already got the, the barbecue baked beans already going. And uh, Matt has been so kind as to graciously offer to be my camera assistant. So how are you doing today, Matt? Hey, I'm doing well. Happy Fourth. God bless America. Amen. America. All right. You know, last night I was laying in bed at like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning because I have insomnia. And I was like, you know, I miss the days when we were just annoyed by the Catch Me Outside girl and, and Kesha. <laughs> I remember that. All right, let me grab a bowl here real quick to put those in. Not that we worry about cross-contaminating because, well, they're going in the pork anyway. But it just makes the area look a little neater, neater and tighter. All right, so take my, I'll use this knife. And unfortunately, they only gave um, the point ends at Walmart. Walmart didn't have any of the whole pork loins or uh, the big meteor end that people use for center cut pork chops. So we're do dealing with the uh, what I call the the crappy end of the of the loin. But as you can see, there's already a seam where the whole muscle is then it's sandwiched in between. Um, the fat and the marbling. So what I do is I'll just go ahead and start follow that seam with my fillet knife. But you want you don't want to follow it exactly because you want to make it even. And you got to be you want you don't want to go too deep where you where you cut through to your cutting board. So the good thing about it, it's all going to get rolled up and thrown in the smoker anyway. So uh, you can have happy little mistakes. You just And I realize my my filleting isn't isn't the best, but I was never a butcher, so barbecue champion, yes. Butcher, no. I suck at filleting catfish or any other kind of fish as well. So we got the whole pork loin. We got what I call slabbed out. Yeah. Hold on. Make it even here. All right. So now we're left with a big 
sheet, basically, of, uh, of pork. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going through a whole roll of paper towels today for this. <laughs> All right, so now take the brown sugar. And I want to, I, I put it liberally because I want it to cover the whole, whole thing. And I like to use dark brown sugar. I think it gives it a little more richness. All right. All right. And now I'll just place my apple whole slices. Get out of there, Dawson. You too, Wrigley. And then just roll it. Dawson. Yeah, it looks amazing. After about three, three and a half hours in the smoker at about... Oh, I bet. 185 to 225. That is going to be incredible. It, it, uh, I'm hoping it'll be a hit with the party tonight. Definitely will. Ah, move my cup over here. And I need some smaller pieces. I didn't slice enough. They're thin. The problem is when you get to the end, you need the thin ones because the thin ones will will roll. They'll curve when you roll it. Uh, the big chunky one, they tend to not do that, and they want to give you problems. All right. So there's that. And this one I didn't put cinnamon in because some people don't like cinnamon. Um, cinnamon is actually an irritant, um, and really, I heard somewhere that cinnamon was actually a poison, uh, but. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skewer these, and then uh, uh, that's it. We're, uh, we're done. Uh, thank you so very much for uh, tuning in for my, my uh, pork loin demonstration, my apple sugar smoked pork loin. And uh, we'll put it in the smoker, and when it gets done, we'll do a little more filming for you, and uh, you can see what it looks like. Thanks so much. All right. Okay, everybody, we are over at Kirby's. And we are using his smoker because no sense in firing up both smokers. So here is uh go ahead Kirby. So Kirby's got the briskets on the bottom, and I got those two pork loins on top. I must say they look amazing. And the internal temp is what? Uh, 140 on one and one and 143 on the other. I'm about to check the brisket real quick. Okay. Doing the fork test on the brisket. Look at that. It's actually almost. I think these are close enough. But that was gonna be a little bit. Let's see. Look at that. It actually. You got butcher paper to wrap them? No, I don't have any butcher paper. Nobody has butcher paper. So as I mentioned earlier, we're having a block party here in our neighborhood. One neighbors have rented. Uh, a bounce house there's music so I'm not going to uh, continue to film because I do not own the copyright to this music uh, I don't even know what music it is so I'm just going to ignore it and talk really loud so you guys can't hear it ah! see you in a second all right ladies and gentlemen we just pulled the uh, pork loins out of the smoker and uh, I'll give you a big glimpse five hours in the smoker and uh, this one started to come undone a little bit. So we're gonna slice them up and take them over to uh, Jose and Alicia's for uh, our little celebration for Independence Day. God bless America, happy Independence Day everybody. And remember, share your smile freely with everybody you come across. Uh, it's not such a great place out there right now and the world needs some positivity. So with that, uh, your smile may be the only bit of sunshine in somebody's day. Much love to you and we will see you later.